I'm a hydraulic design engineer and I've been here for seven years. I'm responsible for designing our hydraulic structures like bridges and culverts in order to safely pass water from one side of a roadway to the other. And it's my duty to ensure that our bridges and culverts are designed to be safe, cost efficient, and environmentally sensitive. At the beginning of a project, the first thing we're going to do is go out to a, a site visit, a location community meeting. So we're going to go out there with bridge engineers, with roadway engineers, uh, the survey crew, district engineers, environmental engineers, and we're looking for, for concerns that, may, that we may have or any possible challenges that could come up as the project moves along. The first thing that we do when we get back to the office is we're going to look at survey data. Then we'll come up with a proposed, a recommendation for a proposed bridge. Hydraulics is unique from other fields of engineering because you have to use more engineering judgment because each site is unique in its own ways. Um, each channel has its own unique characteristics, its own history that makes it unique to, from a design perspective. If I do my job well, then citizens are less likely to see their property flooded. Um, our roads are going to be safer because it's less likely that they get overtopped by a flood. And our bridges are going to be less likely to fail as a result of rushing flood water. I really enjoy working with my coworkers, and, and I know that's, that sounds cliche, but, but I mean it. Uh, each, each and every person that I work with, I, I love them to death. Uh, they're, they're a joy to work with. They make my job more enjoyable. Thank you for joining us. Stay tuned for new exciting content in the next episode of People of MDOT.